All right, we're Western Iowa Tech here today in our uh, motorcycle and power sports lab. And we're going to do a little trick that is just so simple to do with every single battery you ever install to make life easy for your customers. Now, we're working on a Kawasaki Vulcan today and uh, getting a pair new battery in. And you guys know that you're going to get a nut and a blaster and, and bolts. You're going to get some new ones here that come with the battery. But the, the, the thing that we're going to show, it doesn't seem to be a big deal on this motorcycle because uh, the battery goes nice and in straight and easy, okay? But when you're dealing with snowmobiles especially, snowmobile batteries are an absolute pain because they're usually on the side of the engine and to get them in place, you got to go around exhaust systems or through things and then sneak them into the battery. Well, when you do that and you have your new nut in here, okay, and another example is a, uh, this is not going to work on that one. When you put this, uh, when you put this in the vehicle, some people try to have the, the nuts and washers just in place, thinking that, well, once I get it into the battery tray, and now that I'm back to a square position, that then I'll put the battery cables on. Well, a lot of times you have to hook up a cable ahead of time because you're putting the battery somewhere where you can't get to it. So you actually have to torque it properly and get it in place. Does that make sense? So the whole the whole idea of just putting the nut on isn't going to work very well, okay? And a lot of times, too, the cable is so short that you've got to slide the battery down onto a tray, and then you have to uh, literally put the cable on an angle like this so that then you can snap it in place. Does that make sense? Yeah. So with those examples in mind, this is how you're going to do what we're going to demonstrate right now. So Casey get here, I'm going to have Casey uh, show you this. Problem is, the nut just wants to fall out no matter what you do, right? Close up of that. Okay. So the trick that was shown to me years ago that's been so beneficial is to take a little piece of a battery hose of something that works really well. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut off a little piece and then usually the whole hose is too thick to where and you're going to take a small little screwdriver and you're basically going to line your nut up so that when you go to install it that bolt's going to be able to get right in place. Does that make sense? Are you with me on that? Now in this particular battery it appears, get a close up right in here and you guys get down here and look at this. Do you see how much thread I have? No. Nope. Okay, so here's a good example to figure out whether you need to cut the hose in half, okay? Normally, uh, take and uh, cut one of these off for me and then cut it in half. While he's doing that, I'll show you basically I call it a banana, just half of the hose. But watch this here. When I push this bolt down, do you see how the nut doesn't have enough room to tighten? Get a close up of that, this is serious, okay? If you can't tighten this, that battery cable is going to be loose. Are you with me? So we want to make sure that when we do a trick, we aren't causing a problem that isn't going to help. Now the thing I need to think about, if this has two or three eyelets on it, am I going to be able to have full compression? Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if I have two or three eyelets on there, look, look, oh, let's get yeah. a little closer. If I have two or three eyelets on here, yep. and I look at how, how tight I'm able to get this, I'm going to have enough availability. Because when I tighten this, it's going to suck the nut up. But this is the test I want you to do to verify whether this trick is possible. Are you with me? Yep. Now, another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just pull this, uh, pull this full one out, and I'm going to switch it. Are you still here? I'm going to switch this to just a half one. And what, this is what normally works really, really well on here. And then uh, um, this, this should work to be able to give you enough compression. Now the thing is, this bolt's really long. So in this case of only doing the half one on this battery, it won't work. It's still going to fall out. Are you with me? So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to use the full one. And on this bike with some eyelets and whatnot, do you understand the idea of what we're trying to do here? So that's the little trick with that. And then another thing we can do is go ahead and make an a, attempt here to see if we get some torque. Now I am I am fully compressed. I'm I'm fully tight. And you guys remember the trick to figure out whether because if if this nut is bottoming out down here, can I get a false torque? Yep. So what's the trick you could do with the washer? Anybody remember? try and spin it. I could try and spin that washer. Now look at this guys. So on this one, even with a full hose, fully tightened down, no eyelets as far as the battery cables. And is that battery cable eyelet pretty thick? 
Yeah, it is the battery cable. And if they have a, a battery charger eyelet on there or anything else, it's going to take that space up. I can't move that washer, and I know that I have a good functional um, tight fit on there that's not going to come loose. Does that make sense? Yep. So that's the little trick to make battery installation a lot easier when you're trying to uh, put yourself into awkward places here. Now I'm going to even see how hard that is to get out of there. Now the other thing is, do you notice how even if me, you know, banging around that, you see how it didn't even move? So if I'm doing this and I'm like having to go through, back the camera up here, if I'm having to go through an area and work like this uh, watercraft or uh, snowmobiles are the ones that are really, I think, just a little bit more of a pain because they're really packaged in there. If I'm having to do something like this, I really want that to line up because especially for entry level technicians, and what are these made out of? Aluminum. Lead or aluminum, right? If I, how easy is it to cross thread this? It's super easy. So if I get in here and I'm crooked on that and I'm forcing that thing in here, or I'm, I'm down doing one of these numbers like this, I can't see what I'm doing, it's gonna be a problem. So this is really nice that I can thread that in by hand, do a test fit, and put it on the vehicle. And that's how you do it. Okay.